Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. The sun is shining, the ridge line is clean so why not make a video about it after owning it for over one year and the things I like and don't like about it. First off, the front end. I love how the front end came along with the lift kit, the all-terrain tires, the black powder coated wheels instead of the chrome ones. The front end is just, yeah it's finished. I love how it came out it's a bit more aggressive than normal well, it's a bit more aggressive than standard because of the lift kit and the all-terrain tires but the way it all came together is just perfect so I like the way it is the interior well first off the colors wasn't my first choice I would have chosen like black the ideal interior for the Ridgeline would have been like in my CL7 Accord black leather sides with the suede or Alcantara inserts that would have been epic in this truck but I do like how it came out now I do like what I bought and the only things I have to change up are these inserts and the Honda logo and most of it is clean enough so it's good it's a work truck as well well to tow my race car but I like the interior it's good it's comfortable it's real American and even after doing the road trip when I bought the truck and we drove about 16 hours I think that was just like sleeping in a sofa <laughs> the second row well that's handy as well isn't it flip up uh, seats so you can put a bicycle in there or even two dogs or whatever um, yeah this is just it's perfect I like this as well let's just talk about the body lines the rich line isn't really that typical truck with a cabin and a separate bed the rich line has independent suspension the rich line is not called a truck in America but well as long as it has a bed and it has a cabin for me it's a truck okay it's not a Nissan Navara it's not a Tundra it's not a Dodge Ram but it's something mid-size perfect pickup truck for the people who like to go into town in Europe and f still find a parking spot this is perfect for that because I've been using it for over one year now and if I would have bought a Dodge Ram which is longer and wider going into town and finding a parking spot that would have been very difficult so anyway let's just continue the next thing I do like is the double action tailgate so opening it up like this and opening it up like this the moment you swing open your tailgate you can go to the under bed luggage compartment which is ideal well in Europe we have a lot of trucks American trucks that run on LPG liquid petroleum gas and most of the time they have their big tank just sitting over there but if you do that in a rich line or any mid-sized truck you will lose a lot of capacity to put stuff in your bed this comes in handy very well so I've got my tank over here still have my spare wheel the only thing that I should have done when I imported my truck was to put an additional tank just over there um, to have more LPG capacity because now I have to do I'll have to go for fuel if I do city driving every 135 miles something like that and when I do highway only it's about 170 180 miles so yeah that's the thing I dislike I do like the way that I can put it in here but I dislike the fact that well, I messed up and I didn't put an additional tank anyway I can do that later that's no problem uh, it's still COVID so I haven't been to uh, any other country in Europe uh, for any karting or car shows or whatever um, I will see if I do longer uh, trips if 
I want to keep this or if I want to put a bigger one or a second one in there anyway something I don't like that much is my roll cover I used to think a roll cover is epic and actually it is nice it's very easy you can get into the bed very easy as well uh, you don't always have to open the tailgate but it does take up a lot of room in the back over here so if this ever breaks I think I'm gonna go for a backflip cover in, in three pieces or whatever because the last piece you can just flip it up okay you don't have your rear view uh, when you look into the rear view mirror but you do have a lot of space in the bed but for now this is perfect I can put all my stuff in there when I go on track with the Civic it's very easy it came in handy very well already I did already put a big pallet in there with a lot of bricks to, to do something in the garden and uh, it held up the pallet just slips in and uh, we we're on our way so the moment I decided to sell my Accord and go for something else the reason why was because it was only able to tow 1500 kilograms and putting my trailer and car in the back that was around 1500 kilos and that was limits I went to the Nordschleife once and in the mountains well it wasn't struggling but I could feel that yeah that's the limit so I needed something else I needed something what they call in Belgium uh, light load Lichtevracht which is a car or a van or a truck that has a passenger compartment and 50% is luggage compartment divided by well a big divider or like here just closed off when you have that it's not as expensive to register a car or truck or van uh, with a big engine capacity because you don't pay for the engine anymore you just pay because it's a light load so I was looking for that I didn't want to Dodge Ram because it was too big I didn't want something diesel because I wasn't able to go into uh, the big cities like Brussels and Antwerp because if you have a diesel that is over about eight years then you're not allowed in anymore so I needed something on fuel or LPG light load could tow more than 2,000 kilograms and I end up buying my Richline so the Richline has 2,200 kilograms tow rating which is just perfect I mean I don't need anything else it's good for me and if I do need to tow something uh, heavier than that I have friends that can tow that for me so that's okay so let's talk about fuel consumption I do like how much it consumes well you don't really like it when it consumes a lot but it consumes about 16 liters uh, per 100 kilometers highway and around 19 to 20 city driving uh, it does consume more because it's running on LPG it would consume less if I run 98 run uh, fuel but that's three times as expensive so I'm gonna drive on LPG anyway if I do need the power um, then I will switch it off and go to normal fuel um, what I don't like about the interior here is the way it's set up on Fahrenheit and miles I do know that I can switch it up to a Canadian spec and swap everything over but why would I do that so I just have to get used to all the Fahrenheit and miles but at least the cluster is in miles and kilometers per hour so that's perfect I think that's all I need the navigation on the other hand that's no good I can't use it it doesn't have European maps and even if it would it would be outdated because I do use my cell phone um, and use a navigation app which is more up-to-date and with traffic jams and stuff like that and works so I think I will change it out to an Android system whenever I feel like it's it's not troubling me now so I'm gonna leave it as it is so that's a big minor for me 
let's get back to the exterior something which is very handy in summertime so you take your remote and you double press the open button and watch what happens all the windows open until you let go of the button the only downside on it is that you cannot close all the windows with your remote control because you've got a panic button which I'm not gonna push now because that's very loud if you double press the open button while well, it opens up if you double press the close button well it just sounds a horn because it's a confirmation that all the doors are locked so what you need to do is or you go into the truck and then you put on the accessory stand and then you push up all the windows or put your key in the lock and double to the left and then you stay on the left and then all the doors are closed I think that's okay but I would have liked something on my remote so I think that sums it up it's a perfect truck for me it is a truck for me it's a perfect daily driver and it will be very good towing my trailer and car on top of it so I do like how it came out with the fresh paint in Nighthawk Black Pearl which I did last summer if you haven't seen that episode up here check it out um, I do like the lift kit if you haven't seen that episode the link is up here so I'm gonna leave you guys now thanks for watching if you're stuck to the end well just give us a like and a comment down below maybe subscribe if you like to if you don't well don't subscribe it's up to you it's not up to me and uh, hope to see you next time more content like this is gonna follow so enjoy your weekend guys bye